Welcome to the unboxing of Testman Real Action Attribute. That is the most American product ever. Made in China. Yeah, saw this action figure <clears throat> by Damn Toys Collectibles. They make some really, really cool original figures. And I absolutely love the color combination of black and yellow. All my tools are DeWalt. And I love crash test dummies. I've always loved them. I've always thought they were very, very cool. So there is this side of the box, the left side of the box, the right side of the box, the top of the box, the bottom of the box, and the full back of the box. Let's use our yellow knife and get to the side and see what it looks like. Well, that's the box. There is a secondary compartment in the box for you to pull out the stand pieces, the desiccant, don't eat that, and the stickers for the body. I didn't realize, I thought they were screen printed on, but I guess they're stickers, so hopefully they're good stickers. You can purchase this right now from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I got this, I pre-ordered this off their website. It was supposed to show up last month, it showed up this month. It's all good, one month delay is not a big deal, and I'm actually pretty impressed because every other company is having insane delays with everything else right now. It's understandable too. Let's open up the stand. Nice little clear plastic stand. And this, I don't know what it is. Some kind of other stand thing, I'm guessing. And the armature. And the body clip hook thing. Cut it open. All right, put that back in there. There we go. Excuse my dirty fingernails. They are covered in super glue and paint right now. Cyano Acrolife, baby. And if you don't know what that means, ask me in the comments below and I'll let you know after the video. That's a cool armature. You can get a few of these and make yourself a cool Doc Ock figure. Rah, rah, rah. Crotch grabber, waist grabber. Cool. Let's open Test Man the Real Action Attribute. Let's give him a smell really quick. Ah, smells like China. Okay. Looks like. Nope, no twist ties holding him in. Looks like he's nice and clean. Looks like he's all molded, no paint. That's probably why they sent me the stickers. So not painting him, probably saved them production costs. And honestly, the figure's gonna hold up better over time. Really cool. I love that paint, that plain face. It reminds me of C-3PO. I think uh, when you can get an artistic image or a pose simply out of the movement of the body and not completely dependent upon paint jobs or expressions, I think that really shows something uh, about the, number one, the design of the figure. And number two, your skill as an artist or your ability to translate uh, the movement or the motion into something that uh, can evoke an idea or a feeling. And this is why I'm drawn to figures like this. I've got the little Damn Toys logo on the back, copyright. Swivel side to side on the head. A tilt forward, not very far, and just a little bit of a tilt forward and back on the head. But the lower neck's got quite a bit of movement, so that's good. It goes all the way around 360, or the shoulders, excuse me. They pull up and down. There is, I think, believe that's called, a, oh no, that's a full ball and socket joint in there, inside of that shoulder. And we've got an up and down on the deltoid itself. We have a double joint at the elbow, which I appreciate, because I can actually have him touch his face, or brush his hair that he doesn't have. And at the wrist, we've got a double swivel ball joint with two pegs that rotate. Get a lot of motion out of this figure. Look, we can have him scratch his armpit. <laughs> and we've got a lot of movement out of the waist. And side to side, uh, it's a pretty good amount of movement. Front, back. Not an insane amount of movement in the torso, it's mostly down here at the hips, and it opens up quite a bit when you go far enough back, but because considering it's a crash test tummy, the seams kind of take care of themselves because you're expecting there to be seams. 
another reason I like this figure. At the hips, 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 we have a, is it just a rotating joint? Yeah, we have a forward and back rotating joint right there. And then we have a rotating pin peg there. And then the peg also moves side to side in the hip. So you can actually get quite a bit of extreme motion in there. And another double joint of the knee, which I love those. You can get really good realistic human poses. The double swivel ball peg joint here. And, oh, I did not notice that. Oh, articulation. So there we go, the toe is a little jammed up. Love that toe articulation. Uh, all in all, there's a lot of posability on this figure. I love it. I love these simple little figures that have tons and tons of motion in them. Let's see if we can put them into a cool little pose really quick. have him hang out there while we look at his hands. Two grippy palms, two fists, a left hand pointing, a left hand in a handshake pose. That's what I'm gonna call that. A right hand trigger finger. These are tiny, tiny hands. And a left hand reaching hand. Let's see if we can't get these stickers on. Okay, and we're done. That took a little bit of time. That took me a good 10 minutes to put all those stickers on. Um, I am a little concerned about the wood on his head because his head is a spherical shape, of course, as all heads are, that the sticker may peel itself off over time. Um, the other ones seem pretty good. They seem to be in fairly flat spots. I think the shoulders and the head are the most round. I'm just trying to push it down as much as I can. But I think that they are aware that these stickers might come off in warmer humid temperatures, which is why they send you one extra of each size in the first set and then the whole second set. So I do appreciate that, Damn Toys. Thank you for doing that. I do love the way he looks with the stickers on him. I think he looks great. In the diagram, it tells you to put the, uh, the ankle sticker on top of the ankle, but I thought it looked better on the actual outside of the foot. So that's where I put mine. Of course, you can put yours wherever you want. I really look forward to putting him in some of my dioramas and posing him with some of my barrels and dumpsters and some of my other action figures and getting, hopefully getting some funny as well as enigmatic poses out of him. I think he's really, really cool. I realized why they sent me this lovely metal plate. His feet are magnetic. How about that? I did not know that. I do not own any magnetic toys. This is a first for me. So that was a cool little uh, surprise. And by the way, his plastic and the stand's plastic are very, very similar. They're some type of cast acrylic and they're very slippery. This stand may need to be tightened up. You can see even on its own, it kind of wants to fall down a little. See that? When you try to grip, grip these hooks onto his waist, he kind of slides down the little crotch grabber. So it might be worth um, putting maybe some tape or foam here to hold him better and tightening up those screws. I don't plan to use this a lot, honestly, unless I'm posing him for a photo in which I want to Photoshop out an armature. But honestly, if I'm gonna do that, that's lovely, just pops out. <laughs> honestly, if I'm going to do that, um, I am probably just going to use a red, blue, or green heavy duty wire to do that. I'm probably not even going to use this armature. All right, that is Test Man by Damn Toys. Really, really cool figure. Uh, I know Dan Toys has come out with a couple other really nice figures recently. Let's see what he looks like next to some other figures that are supposed to be in the same scale. This is Daredevil, the uh, original yellow and red suit version, Marvel Legends. Next to the Dan Toys figure, looks like Daredevil's about uh, six foot five compared to him, like a small five foot eight. I think it does fit the scale, of course. He's not supposed to be a big buff crime fighter. He's supposed to be a humble, meek, and uh, quiet little crash chest dummy. Marvel Legends, Spider-Gwen, Gwen Stacy. 
he is just looks like he is just a little bit taller than her which seems to make sense so i would say he's very much in scale to exactly what he's supposed to be bye